morning guys uh, another day another trip so uh, I'm heading out today uh, I'm gonna go on 455 and 677 so I'm gonna go to the place where uh, I normally pick up 455 and go further west now of uh, 35 and uh, uh, head over to St. Joe on 677 so that's going to be a fun day uh, the temperature is 69 and I got my uh, mesh jacket on so it's <laughs> it's slightly uh, you know on the cooler side but it's uh, it's comfortable uh, it's gonna get warm it's gonna go up to the uh, 80s or high 80s or something so uh, it's gonna be a fun day uh, one of my friends uh, went out to this road and he saw a kind of a dirt road which I might be exploring today. Ooh, that seems like uh, hopefully no rain, but it uh, uh, looks like a good day. And uh, I will uh, keep chatting with you guys when, when I get the chance. Uh, looks like there might be a bit of a rain on some of those areas. Ah, I didn't check the weather forecast. Never expected rain today though. So I think I probably skirt around because I need to go anyway to uh, to the west there. So that's what I'm going to do. So oh, that's a cool 993. Nice. It's a turbo though. Looks like a little bit of rain out here. Hopefully uh, I will dry out because I didn't uh, get my rain jacket and I didn't have. I don't have my rain suit on, <laughs> but anyway, so I might as well switch to the rain mode. Looks like the rain is starting to pick up, <laughs> so I'm in for a, a wet day, I guess. Uh, it's the first, but uh, it's going to be fun. You know, that's what is called a adventure trip. <laughs> You never know what you're gonna get. This is Texas. Sometimes uh, you get all four seasons in one day. So this probably is one of those days now. I had uh, the temperature drop on me and now it's starting to rain. I bet it's gonna get hot as hell by the time I get back home. Low speed corner, but uh, no time for experimenting. 10 mile an hour. I've got to slow down real hard here. Yep, I'm trying to go around the rain. I'm not sure if the camera is uh, clean. The has got all uh, droplets on it. Yep, it's uh, again another big cloud and I'm uh, getting a little rain on. So it's good practice for riding in the rain, I think. Hopefully the camera is uh, waterproof and it's doing some recording. But uh, it's interesting, yeah, it's been a while. Uh, I think once I rode in the rain, uh, that was a long time ago, a uh, year and a half ago. So this is the first time I'm riding on the, in the rain in this 1250. So uh, that's good experience, always like, uh, normally when it rains I don't like to get out because uh, I kind of get lazy, you don't want to get wet and stuff. But once you're riding <laughs> and you get wet, it really doesn't matter. It's actually fun riding in the rain. So uh, this is uh, now I'm heading west on uh, 455. So this is past uh, Aubrey. So we are heading towards uh, Sanger. Uh, this is the place uh, Ray Roberts Bridge where everybody takes a picture. Uh, we call it a potato snap. Uh, I might just stop and take a picture just for the heck of it here. Because everybody does this.
it's starting to get a little sunny now. That is good. I will actually dry out. So we are in the town of Bolivar. So I'm just gonna go straight on ahead, I think. This is 2450, I've been on this road. But now I wanna, I think that is the way we used to go to uh, Rocky Ridge. So now we just head on over to uh, to 650, 677. That's the road. So hopefully uh, I will uh, get dry soon. Uh, starting to feel a little wet on my arms and stuff, but uh, hopefully it'll get a little warm. It's supposed to go up to the 90s. seems a little dry anyway so that's perfect I think I can uh, switch back to uh, dynamic pro <laughs> the rain seems to uh, not have come here which is perfect beautiful nice house side of a big road though This is the road, Stan Man Road. Let me see if that's the one. Wow, it is pretty. It is pretty. Let me check this road out. Okay. Okay. Now we are on this road here. We got the uh, air down. So let's uh, head on. Oh, I think it's the Stacy Man Road. I think this is. Uh, enduro mode. We got everything going. Let's head on now. Okay. Let's check this out. It doesn't seem bad at all. Seems like a beautiful road. I might actually get the drone going out here, how about that?
Hey. Yeah, I just lost my drone. <laughs> That's okay. It just flew off somewhere. It was tracking me, so I'm just trying to find it. But I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I picked up the drone <laughs> and now we are on our way. So the drone could not handle <laughs> the curves on the road. Interesting, it tried to go the shortest way, so he just bumped into a tree. So we're just gonna take the small uh, uh, road here and see where it takes us. That was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so I figured out for a second I thought man I'm gonna just give up the drone but then I figured out that I was recording on a cache on the phone so I was just playing that video and then I figured out that the drone was actually uh, you know I was trying to see where it was going so then uh, <laughs> I could figure out that he was actually going uh, in the other side and I figured out where he fell down and I could locate him so that was perfect so now, uh, uh, interesting, I better follow the map here, otherwise I'm going to get lost. Oh, it is beautiful. This road is really nice. Undulations, ups and downs. Yeah, a drone wouldn't have handled this. Ah, look at that. It is gorgeous. I think this is the road where I can let all the guys know and they probably will show up. So the key I figured out in off-road now, I have to make sure I'm holding my uh, bike with my legs. Uh, that's all it is. Once I do that, you know, I get uh, really comfortable on the uh, handlebars and then all the problems are solved. So that's the key. You know, so once I do that, everything works perfectly. So let me just uh, enjoy the road here. Creek. Gorgeous. This is just a beautiful creek out here. It's just gorgeous. just gorgeous right in the middle of this beautiful road it's just gorgeous you can hear the water flowing somewhere cows nice Okay, I'm back. Back on the road. There was a beautiful creek. A gentle uphill here. is pretty straightforward, very well maintained uh, gravel road. But, uh, it is gorgeous. You don't realize uh, 
Texas has all kinds of stuff here. Just a little bit of uh, ups and downs. Take the lazy E road or something. Should forget it. Ooh, I was about to go. Oh, that's interesting. That's some barn. Wow, there's somebody's private property. Gorgeous. Downhill. Wait on the left peg. Drop the bike. Uphill. Be on the throttle. Wait on the right peg. Keep it going. Keep it going. That's why the low torque helps. Whoa, I think I need to close my visor kinds of bugs coming in. A lazy E road coming up. Okay, so wait on the left peg because it's a right hander and then turn your body around. Oh, there's a branch. Oh, beautiful uphill. Whoa, this is nice. Look at that uphill. Uphill going up, wait in the front, then there's a left hander after that, <laughs> so ease on the throttle as I get to the top, okay, downhill slope. Okay. Nice. This is the lazy E road. I don't see no lazy E roads. Oh, coming up. There it is. There are you, my boy. I need to make the right here. uphill and then I gotta make a right on Clear Creek Loop Road to head back up to 677 again turn turn your body that's beautiful horses there you go horsey road coming up yeah, the battery might just die out here so uh, guys if I don't uh, end the video correctly uh, you see that I'm having a good time
inside our tent while we do the next act. Everybody's out there. The bikes are out here. Beautiful St. Joe. And uh, this is the main square, I think. That was nice. That's where uh, we had uh, you know, lunch one time. 